Well, I sometimes think that uh, the reason I, I don't remember a great deal about the cottage is because we had such a very good time there. And uh, something that I'll always remember forever is the teacher and the mentor and the Pied Piper, Kevin Kynox, sprawled on the, the hearth with a libation in hand. And he would just watch the goings-on around the old v crank Victrola. Uh, every now and then he'd raise his glass to the ceiling and toast the muse or the ceiling or whatever it was he was toasting. Uh, well, we'd make, uh, we would make each other dinner and desserts there and we'd try out new recipes and, and utterly destroy them and then uh, eat them maybe and then discard them later and try something else that worked. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of brainstorming went on there. We rehearsed our production of Long Day's Journey Into Night there because, of course, it was a cottage and we had an ocean and it was isolated. And we had the peace and quiet that you didn't always get at BC High. Oh, around the old Victrola. It was a stand-up Victrola that we cranked and it had a wooden needle. And there was a collection of 78s there. And one of them was a recording that... Charlotte Coughlin and Lenore Wells made when they were girls. They harmonized on beautiful, beautiful brown eyes. And I think that's a beautiful memory for the, the children and the grandchildren to have. Uh, we also had uh, 78 of Spike Jones and, and uh, the City Slickers. And our reveille in the morning would be whoever got up first would put on cocktails for two with the gunshots and the popping corks. And uh, we would get up and uh, have something healthy for breakfast, like a tequila sunrise because it had orange juice in it, or mimosas because they had orange juice in them, and the things that you can do to your body when you're, you're terribly, terribly young. It's, it's just remarkable. You can't do that when you get older. Uh, it was a Petri dish. There were so many talented people there. There was John and Joe Keenan and Tony McLean, rest his soul, all these people who wrote music and wrote lyrics and wrote books and wonderful funny things and the whole thing was sort of coming together uh, like a tub full of amino acids making a protein it was all swirling around in the cottage well the thing that I always remember I was a token female there I was off to the side I guess I was a mascot uh, something that John remembers and that Joe Keenan remembers is that what I contributed to their lives most was introducing them to pesto. And I'm actually very happy with that. Uh, it's wonderful, and I think it's kind of rare that the friendships have endured. And that was kind of, I, I want to say, not modestly either, but Kevin Kynock had a, a bunch of wonderfully talent, talented people on his hands. Uh, he sort of set us out into the world. It, we owed it to him and, and the goings on down there at Charlene that we went on to the careers we have him to thank or to blame. <laughs> and the memories I will cherish until my dying day. I know I will. <laughs>